Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. And first, I just want to take a moment and thank all of you guys who've watched my previous video speaking about the Galaxy Z Fold and about the concierge service. It got over 100 views in the first 24 hours. I got a few new subscribers, got a few likes, uh, and I'm very, very, very grateful. Thank you so much. It may not be a million views and a million likes, but absolutely, I can't tell you how I feel. It feels like I hit a million views. So thank you again so much. And without further ado, I wanted to talk about how Samsung on their website is offering up to $300 for a Gear S3. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I bought my Gear S3 three and a half years ago. And to get offered $300 to get an upgrade toward the new Galaxy Watch 3. I think that's absolutely reasonable. I'm just a little shocked that Samsung didn't do a little bit more advertising or make a little bit more noise about it because I found out because I ex uh, visited the Galaxy Experience Store to see if they would fix the power button. It works, but sometimes it doesn't. And, they and he was like, hey man, uh, just letting you know, any minor fix like that on that watch, we're going to have to send it out. And it's going to be like 70 bucks. If you look at the Samsung shop app on your phone, they're offering a lot of money for your watch right now. I'm like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, I think you should check it out. So I came home and I noticed that he was absolutely right. I went on the Samsung shop app, which you don't even need to use the app. You can actually go on their website and it's the same deals. And boom, there it was. And they actually had quite a few offers. So I know all of you may not have the Gear S3. You might have a different watch. And they were even taking eligible trade-ins for tablets. Like you can trade in a tablet and, and use that toward a watch, which is really cool. I have a really old watch and I have a really old tablet. This is a Tab S3 uh, 9 inch. It's very old. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just use that as an example. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what I mean. You hopefully you guys can see me clear. And here it is right now. So if you look carefully, I went on the Samsung website. There it is. Home, home screen, I went over to offers. I scrolled down right over here. It's, it's kind of hard to use, but if you go to offers, you got to go to offers again, right here, tablets, watches, and accessories. Scroll down just a little bit more. And here they are. The two options of watches that they have. And what I don't understand is that for the active, on the little bit of highlighted information, it doesn't say anything about a trade-in. However, for the Galaxy Watch 3, it does talk about a trade-in, but I'm, I'm here to let you know both of them are eligible for trade-in. I'll actually show you that one next. So here it is, Galaxy Watch 3, buy now. And there they are. You can either get the Watch 3 or, and oh look, they offered me like government pricing or school and education pricing. So here's the Watch 3. And here's the Watch 3 Titanium. They're the exact same specs. However, the Titanium is all Titanium and it's a little bit lighter from what I've seen in other YouTube videos. But we're going to just go with the Watch 3 because the Watch 3 Titanium is a little expensive. Obviously, the 45 millimeter, I'm um, used to the bigger size watches. All, I'm, all I need is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And we're going to go with the Mystic Black. There is a Mystic Silver, but the bezel is still black. And then the watch is silver. I don't know. Maybe that might be nice too. Let's. Mystic black. It's black on black. And then the silver. It will be like. I don't know. I don't think it even switched over. There's the silver one. Who knows? We'll just go with the silver one for now. Trade in your watch, phone, or tablet to get instant credit of $200. Yes. Select category. Tablet. Let's just say, for example, Samsung. Select a device. Galaxy Tab S2. 
9.7 inch. They'll give me $64 right now for this. And you know what? It's not worth it because this has turned into a glorified alarm clock reminder, task manager, and weather app. And it sits right here. Beautifully doesn't bother me. I'm not going to trade that in. I think it's worth it. It has more use than what it's worth. But we will go back and switch it to watch brand. Samsung's all Samsung here, baby. Samsung phone, got the Z Flip, got the S20 Plus, got the Samsung tablet, got the Samsung watch. I'm sorry, Apple. You just can't make a customer out of me. Select device, Gear S3, $200. $200 for Gear S3. Yes, I agree. As long as it works, as long as they can see the home screen, blah, blah, blah. You got to read uh, the qualifications. Don't blame me for anything. And then they'll add another $60 on top of that. So you can get a brand new Galaxy Watch 3 in Mystic Silver or Mystic Black for $169.99. Originally $429.99. I don't know about you, but that's a really good deal. Uh, considering the fact that to fix the button on this is $60 or $70. And it doesn't have nearly the amount of features as the new Galaxy Watch, the, the Galaxy Watch 3. Um, from the heart, the more accurate heart rate monitor to the more accurate blood oxygen meter. So I think that's crazy. It's such a good deal. You get $260 off and your total price comes up to $169.99. And I would give that a super thumbs up. I, I would totally get that. Then you can choose the Watch 3 Titanium, where it's a little lighter and it's all titanium. It'll only come in the 45 millimeter option, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. It only comes in Mystic Black. It's already a, a, a style. And they'll give you a little bit more money for instant rebate if you choose the titanium. So you're going to get your $200 trade in. Then you get a $100 discount for a total of $300 discount which is crazy. This is originally a $600 smartwatch that you can get for $300. And I and if you want to use the Samsung financing, you can pay $6.25 a month. That's up to you. Now, $300 is a little pricey considering the fact that the only difference between the Watch 3 Titanium and the Watch 3 is the Titanium. So if you don't want to pay $300, you can just stick with the Watch 3, like me, that's the one I'm choosing, and your total is $169.99. You take that and you run. I love it, and I think it's great. Um, but not all of you have this watch, and not all of you want the Galaxy Watch 3. So I went ahead and I also added a, another page and we're going to go ahead and build the active Galaxy Active 2. So it doesn't say it in that little clip image right there, but it is eligible for trade-ins. Here's the different models, the Active 2, the Armor Edition, and the Golf Edition. Let's just keep it simple. Let's keep the price low. We get the Active 2. The size, the 44 millimeter. Ladies, they also do have the 40 millimeter. We're going to go with the Wi-Fi only, Bluetooth Wi-Fi. And we'll just choose Cloud Silver just because uh, it looks nice. Trade in your watch, phone, or tablet. Yes. Select a category. Let's say tablet. So strange enough that once you get out of the tier for the higher-end watch, they don't accept everything for a trade-in. So once I went over to the Galaxy Active 2 and I selected the tablet, oh, the tablet is here. Okay, I'm sorry. So the tablet is here. You can still, you can still trade in the Galaxy uh, Tab S2. What I'm going to do is I believe I remember I couldn't trade in this my Gear S3 for an Active 2. Yeah, see? 
So when I if I wanted to get the Active 2, the Galaxy Watch Active 2, I couldn't trade in my Gear S3. And the most you would get is $60 for a Galaxy Watch, $40 for a Galaxy Watch Active, or $20 for a Gear Fit 2. You'd probably be better off putting that on your pet, on your dog or cat and getting fake miles. For those who play Pokemon, you're welcome. So not all the great options are there, but if it works for you and you feel like spending $50, please go right ahead. You will go home with a beautiful watch and it does a lot. You can answer phone calls, you can text and a few other options. I'm not sure every spec about it, but I think it's a good option to look into. I went ahead and took the liberty of pulling up all three watches. So here they are. Why don't you just go ahead and take a moment to look at that? Let me respond to this text. So we have the Watch 3 45 millimeter, the Watch 3 41 millimeter, and the Watch Active 44 millimeter. These were all options that I considered. I worked on using different combinations to see what I can trade in, what I can't trade in. And honestly, the most bang for your buck is the Watch 3 non-titanium stainless steel. See, there's no op there's no difference between the two besides the color. And I believe the tit the stainless steel has LTE and the titanium doesn't. It's weird. I don't know. Cuz when I click here, this disappears. And if I click here, gone. Back gone. Anyway, I don't care much about the titanium. This watch is already heavy, so I know the new watch is already lighter than this. I don't need to go even super lighter. I don't really care. I'll scroll down slowly and you can see it has about the same connectivities. Battery life, definitely you're going to see dramatic differences between the sizes. So I, obviously the bigger watches can hold a bigger battery and the smaller watch will hold a smaller battery. Same thing, wireless charging, memory. This part was a little confusing for me. Uh, the Active had a little bit more RAM than the Watch 3, but it had 4 gigabyte internal storage. Oh, if you chose LTE, you got the 1.5 gigabyte RAM. But if you just chose the Bluetooth option, you were stuck with the 768 megabytes of RAM. But it has 4 gigabyte internal storage. And I've never used anything, the storage for anything, so a gig was fine for me. If you want to put music, you can honestly put as much music as you want. I mean, a gig is a lot. And now they're giving you four gigs on that. They're giving you eight gigabytes on the Watch 3. A gigabyte of RAM is a lot. I don't even know what the Gear S3 has. I'm sure it's nothing. So I've noticed input type. Watch 3 has rotating bezel, active two has the touch bezel. All three have two buttons. Here's when you start seeing the different features. Uh, the active two just doesn't keep up. Uh, it's missing a lot of the main things that you would want and you would expect from a, a smartwatch latest and greatest 2020. And then the running analysis and the VO2 max is also not available in the watch active two. So something to consider. And I think that's about it. Everything else is pretty much the same. Once again, they're all beautiful watches. They have interchangeable wristbands. The wristband that's on this watch now is a le brown leather wristband. Did not come with the watch. I went ahead and bought it. Stainless steel, that's the one I'm getting. So that was just an easy comparison right there. So just to wrap everything up, if you get the Watch 3 non-titanium and you trade in the Gear S3, you can turn a $429 smartwatch into a $169 smartwatch. And if you want to save a little bit of more money, you can go ahead and get the Active 2. However, I don't have an eligible trade-in, so that's the problem. Um, if I wanted to do that, I'd probably have to trade in my tablet and that would have, then it would come out to, uh, yes, I agree. 
then it would come out to $135.99. So it does get kind of weird. You would have to play around with it yourself. For me, guys, this is the combo right here. The Watch 3 45 millimeter Bluetooth Mystic Silver. I think it'll look nice with the Gears 3 trade-in. And I'm going to place this order right now. I just think it's awesome. Uh, I'm kind of tired of this watch. I wanted something new for a long time. And it's also been running a little slow. I need something with a better battery life. And just all the new specs and features and how accurate uh, of the information it's going to start giving me. I'm a huge member of Samsung Health. So there it is. It's always keeping a track of everything, all my steps, my heart rate, my act my active um my active time and just how restless I sleep and motionless and, you know, all of the above. I think that's great. You can learn a lot about yourself. Maybe not right away, but once you look at the numbers, you look at the specs, I mean, the way they break it down, it's, it's quite impressive. You would have to, I mean, everybody has different apps. I'm sure you, this is not impressive to some of you, but... I think it's great to be able to see when was your peak hours and what your trend is, how much you ran today, how much you walked yesterday. You know, yesterday I did about four miles walking. So stuff like that. I just think it's great. And if you're looking for the latest and greatest and you're holding on to something old just like me, this will definitely save the day. And I just wanted to go ahead and share that information. So that's about it, guys. Uh... Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the views for the last video. Thank you for the new subscribers. Please be sure to subscribe as I'll be putting new videos in all the time. Like this video if you liked it, guys. If you disliked it, don't be afraid. Go ahead, hit that dislike button. But at least please leave a comment and tell me why you didn't like it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And I would appreciate any feedback you guys have to give me. Thank you, thank you again, and take care. This has been another fantastic video. Take care, guys.